Hey guys, we've got quite the extravaganza for you today. Uh, we have Michael Knight here, uh, personal trainer extraordinaire, and we've got a whole gang of folks with us uh, from Art of Strength. Uh, it's about the kettlebells. Now we've done stuff with kettlebells kind of in the past, but I mean, this is a very powerful tool. It's a powerful tool, and one of the things I really want to bring to the general public is the power of it. I think what happens is, and I'll give you an example. There's a national men's magazine that's out there you mm -hmm. know, this month, and it's showing the kettlebell swing. It talks about metabolic, how he trains with MMA guys, trains with professional athletes. The problem is, if you look down, this is the size kettlebell you're going to see them use in the picture. Sure, okay, okay. it says 35. 35 pounds. So, in essence, the lighter the kettlebell, the more dangerous it is. The heavier the kettlebell, the safer it is. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense, but we're going to show you right now. Okay. okay? So, the first thing we do is that when people come to Art of Strength, nine chances out of ten, they will not see a kettlebell for about two months. Because we then make sure their hips are ready, because everything we do with this is hip loaded, hip sure. mobility, works the butt, the hips, and the whole body. So I touched a little bit of the vintage swing going right. Sherry, if you want to grab, go ahead and jump in with her. Okay. So basically, if you, if you, the setup is first is we're not, it's not a, a back. We're teaching with a flat back here. So we're trying to load this posterior chain right here, and that's what's going to move it. So if you take it up over your head, lock it up, drive it, straight arm, bring it back down. Give me about five of those. Keep, reach, power up. Good. Keep that elbow locked a little bit more. Reach. So what are pull. we working right now, Mike? Hips, everything. Straight. Back. Everything. You're moving an object. Reach right through your hips. Up hard. See, now it's 30 pounds. You come in about two weeks, we have about 70 in your hand. Up. Jeez. Good. Okay. One more time. All right. Good. So in about two months, we're going to start. Then we'll move you down to the next phase. Chris Drake for the Detroit Rivals. He's sure. one of my one of probably best conditioned athletes ever walked through my doors. He's going to show you the second second modality and how we move a kettlebell. It's called an outlaw swing, so we tie it to a rope. Remember I told you about that 35 pound kettlebell? Right, what do we got this here? Is Chris, this is a 63 pound kettlebell tied to a rope. So we're looking on grip strength in the art of the flat back. Again, ladies, hip loaded. Everything we do is hip generated, the butt area, the hip area, the thigh area. And his heart rate is gonna go right through the roof in about 20 seconds. Oh, I believe it. Especially okay. no warm up. No, no yeah, warm up. Right? Great athlete. <laughs> now, Chris is doing a 63, but when he's working out with me, he'll put a 97 on there. Now, what's the difference? Why would we do this as opposed to what we were because just doing? Because I wanna make sure the form is right, because his form starts to be shaking a little bit. That kettlebell is gonna be going all over the place. So I'm gonna see movement first. I wanna okay. make sure that's right before we even go a little bit heavier. Next, I got Marcus, who's been with me about six months. And now we work with our youth. So anybody can walk in our, our rooms. We've got youth, sure. we have professional athletes. Please go ahead, Marcus. Now we want to see that hip drive. Now things you haven't seen, we have an 18 pound hip. So now, if he's lazy through his hips, that 18 pound drag is gonna force him to drive his hip farther and harder. He's gonna breathe. Sure, Mike, what's with the rope? Is just extra weight? 18 pounds of drag. So if he's gonna get lazy and not finish, that's ah, gonna force him okay. to get through. Good? Good, have a seat. Set that down. Good. All right, now when we do this, do we do it as a circuit? Sometimes we do it as a circuit, a warm up. Again, we're gonna infuse both schools, so it's not the whole kettlebell. We have different philosophies that we bring in our door. It's not a one size fits all. Sure. It's if the kettlebell's gonna be a tool, we're gonna bring old school in, we'll still do the dumbbells. We're, but anything to make you successful is, is gonna be brought into our place, and anything that's gonna make you feel uncomfortable. Yes. Right behind you, and this is my pride and joy. This is Arlene. Arlene, come on in. <laughs> so remember, I told you about uh, the kettlebell and what the guys were using. Remember what I told you. Now, in most. The heavier, yeah. Yeah, so in most places, what you're gonna see, this is what they tell us to use right here. Uh -huh. Okay, Arlene, go ahead. Show us you what you got. Win. Same kettlebell they would put in a guy's hand. There it is. There's Arlene. Perfect form, flat back, no problem. This is my seniors, seniors right here. All right, cool. If you're a Detroit Red Wings, you can do it. If you're an athlete, if you are a younger guy, if you are anybody, this is for you. This is the new treadmill, right? We're going to show it. you a circuit. We're going to put it all together for you. That's coming up in the ninth. We got to go to break, though. So we'll see you in a bit. This guy is legit, you guys. Uh, this is the new treadmill. You already saw the kettlebell That's things we have. These are the uh, ropes gone wild. Right. So yeah. explain what we're doing here. Basically, we're in a, a warm-up circuit, and what we're trying to do is convince people that we can strength train, we can create flexibility, core strength, and metabolic training all in the same hour. Switch! So right now, they're going to go 20 on, 20 off. Okay. They're going to go four rounds. And this is a typical warm-up for us, okay? Right hand, this ready? This is the warm-up. And begin. This is the warm-up. Okay, now why do you say this is like a treadmill? Because what it is is that, you know, it's like, I, I consider the treadmill like a hamster room. Okay. You know, we're adults. We put a TV up and we sit and we go. Sure. It gets boring, okay, it gets right? boring. Uh -huh. But we don't know anything else to do. What I'm showing people is that, you know, if they call us today, they set up an evaluation. Right. You mentioned Fox 2. We'll get Absolutely. them in. Switch. It's Switch. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Taking control. <laughs> Here we go, five seconds, left hand. And so we want to do everything. We want to get them the metabolic rate, burn uh -huh. their calories, strength train them all at once. Go! 
So you're getting it all in one. We don't have time to run to the gym, okay, I gotta do my weights. I gotta do my cardio, I gotta do my weights. I gotta do my cardio, we're right. encompassing all one. More done, less time, you're taking the heart rate up and burning the calories twice as much as we normally would. But again, people have to come in and see the tools. Two, one, and switch. And the proof is in the pudding, right? We have a heart rate monitor here somewhere. Arlene's almost done, here we go. Three, one more. Okay. two, one, and begin. Pop, and you can see, again, Arlene here is using the same kettlebell that most men's publications has told us we should use. Right. But you can see her hips loaded, no problem in the back. So that's why it's so important for especially kettlebell usage to go find somebody who knows find what they're doing. Find someone that's certified. Sure. There's two schools of thought. There's the Russian kettlebell certification, the RKC, and Art of Strength. We both come from the same rock. Switch. So if you're going <laughs> to switch, last one. Here we go, five seconds. So if you're really going to let someone put a kettlebell in your hand, make sure that they're certified. Please don't let them read about it in a book. Go. Here we go. Last one. And where are you guys at? We have an off. We have one location in Birmingham, right on Woodward, and we have another one in uh, West Bloomfield, right off of Orchard Lake, between 14 and 15. Again, they can call us if they mention you guys. We'll give them in for a free evaluation. Usually, it's a 35 dollars value. They have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Step out of your comfort zone. This is just not for these. We got the professional athletes. Right, we got absolutely. the bodybuilders. We got everybody in here, but it's going to be a long time. Though. Rest. Heart rate, Arlene. All right, heart rate. Where are we yeah. at? 178. 178. And that's from Hollow. We did that for what? Two we, minutes? Two minutes. 178. Two minutes. This is our warm up. This is our champion. She's my motivation. Awesome. Perfect. And, uh, okay. This guy, Chris Draper. Yeah, maybe you recognize him. Maybe not because he has a helmet on. How did you guys ever get involved? He walked through the door. He came in with a little attitude. I had to knock him down a couple of matches. <laughs> but no, he, Chris to this day is the best conditioned athlete that's ever walked through my door. So it was like karma. When you want someone to start a business, you bring in someone like him, and then everybody follows Chris. So I actually trained about 50 of the wings the first season based on what he felt and what he went through and the gains he made. And I mean, you train with the best, obviously. I mean, so you're getting the real deal here, guys. We're, we have fun. It's a great relationship. I mean, I'm breathing heavy here. Where this is a warm up, you know. And the thing I like, you walk through the door, you don't know what you're going to get. But sure. when you walk out, you know you've done something special. And that's the fun part about going. We have, uh, you know, good relationship. We go back and forth. He tries to chirp a little bit. I have to put him in his place, you know, every now and then. And it's, uh, it's fun. It's all about the rings, right? That's right, four of them. That's right, he knows. <laughs> yeah, and, That's and, my go-to line, yeah. Dude, you can't beat it. And I mean, you said there's so many different moves. With the ropes alone, you said, what, 100 different? We have 120 different ropes. Everybody's tried, tried the ropes, but again, to do it by yourself, it, it's not gonna get sure. done. So you're gonna get bored, it's too hard. These are the small ropes. There's 120 ropes moves that we use. Most people see maybe four. So it's a big part of our system, especially when we go to the senior citizens, you know, the moms with, you know, with the kids, even the kids. It's a, it's a movement to show flexibility, mobility, and athleticism. So whoever you are, whatever your physical fitness, professional athletes, we've got everybody else here. Come on down. Art of Strength, we'll have all their information here. Michael Knight uh, over on MyFoxStrength.com. We, we also have a uh, health fair on um, December the 8th from 11 to 1 in our Birmingham location. What can't they do?